Hi, I'm back. I know, I know, I've been quite a MIA here on YouTube. I feel like I've been pretty absent in all of my platforms, but specifically YouTube, and it's honestly the one that I've missed the most because it's the platform that I've filmed and been on for the longest. And this is actually my 10th year anniversary, which is wild to think about. Um, I feel like the last couple of videos I've been giving you guys a life update where I've been I'm back type of intro and I'm done giving you guys excuses. I am just so happy to be back on YouTube and filming frequently again. So today I have for you guys just a regular day in the life vlog. I have a lot going on. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but I am actually getting over a cold and by a cold, I mean the Rona. I got it again for the second time, literally two years apart because I got it around this time right when it started um and it hit me hard again like wild i got it literally the day after easter which was going to be my day back to filming youtube videos ironically enough i was like oh my god i have all of these video ideas i'm going to be getting back strong i'm going to get an editor which is another reason why i've been quite absent on youtube just because i feel like i've lost my passion for editing like it stresses me out more and i would rather do other things with my time than sitting down four hours to edit a video back to what i was saying the next day after feeling flu-like symptoms it knocked me out completely like i i got every single symptom i got originally which was like body aches you know sore throat um congestion i had a mild fever like 100.9 um two days in a row but yeah i just couldn't do anything like my body was truly giving up on me so i ended up just taking completely off from social media like i've never done that not even on instagram like i usually just upload a random story but i just couldn't do it i was a couch potato for a whole week and i'm not gonna lie now looking back at it i enjoyed it like being able to relax and not have responsibility even though i had a bunch of responsibilities and deadlines anyways i feel like this has been a pretty long intro i hope that my voice isn't as annoying as i'm hearing it inside of me but i'm going to go ahead and make my bed and then show you guys a really exciting fashion haul from express i got some fun and colorful pieces for spring and summer that i can't wait to show you guys so let's make the bed just finished making the bed and i also put this super cute little tv background like a window view i don't know i always love putting fireplaces and stuff but i think a window with fresh spring blooms or buds out looks super cute and realistic this is what the bed looks like i don't know if i showed you guys but i actually got a new comforter i ended up changing the one that i got from bed bath and beyond to this one uh which is like a woven type um i'll link it down below for you guys and then the pillows on the back are from amazon yeah it looks so so cute outside today even though it's gloomy i love seeing spring peeking through and this is what i'm wearing today all express you guys know how much I love my Express jeans. This is also one of my favorite camis from Express. And I got a couple new pieces that I'm really excited to share with you guys from Express. So let me get them. Here are all of the goodies that I got from Express for their spring and summer collection. This portion of the video is sponsored by Express. As you guys know, I love shopping at Express. I honestly feel like I find the cutest pieces. And for this spring and summer collection, they have truly the nicest pieces i have to say i went out of my box this time and got all super colorful pieces that i can't wait to show you so i got this beautiful blue and white striped button down because i wanted like an oversized this is a size small and it fits 
like an oversized fit, but I think I want to get a medium so that it could be a little bit longer. However, I love how this looks and I feel like even with white jeans tucked, it'll also look super cute. Their button downs are truly just like so well made. And if I'm not mistaken, this also comes in a few other colors, so I'll link it down below for you guys. Everything will be linked down below, of course. I, of course, had to get a pair of jeans. These are their Modern Straits Super Wide High Rise Jeans in like a cream color. I honestly can't rave enough about jeans from Express. They're my favorite from everywhere I purchase. Just the material is super soft, super comfortable, stretchy. Their sizing is great in my opinion. And another great thing that I love, as you guys know, is the fact that they come in long. Um, but if you're short, they also come in short, regular, and long. So let me show you how these fit. This is what they look like on. And that's the back. I love how it fits and feels. I feel like on the model, they looked a little bit wider and shorter, so I should have gotten the regular, but I love how these fit and look. Next up is this super pretty pastel pink dress. It's like a maxi dress. I don't know if you can tell there, but... Yeah, super, super cute, like a high-low situation. I got it in a size small, and it even fits me a little bit loose, but not like too loose, just comfortable loose, you know? And yeah, I can't wait to wear this in the summer. I'm pretty sure you guys know this by now. I love slip dresses from Express, but this one is just something else. Like, how cute is this? I feel like I have to wear this on a beautiful sunset beach day. The colors go so perfectly together. Up next, it's giving Tinkerbell, but how cute. I feel like this is such a perfect, easy, effortless dress to wear in the summer for like a casual party. You can also wear it with a jean jacket in the springtime. You can wear it with or without the belt. But yeah, that's what this one looks like. I told you I had a thing for slip dresses, but baby, I don't own anything this color and this is the color of the season. I feel like the color of the year, to be honest, this beautiful, bright, bright green. This one has a nice slit detail, some asymmetrical cuts in the bottom, but this will be such a cute, like summer wedding, dress very casual but elegant at the same time again i just you know what i mean i just love slip dresses it's just like so easy to dress matter of fact i'm going to show you guys my collection in case you guys thought i was joking this is also from express i think it's the same dress as the one that i have on right now because it has a yeah i think it is it's the same dress in orange and then I also have this one in purple which is a little bit different um, and more form-fitting than this one but I'll link both down below if they're still available however you guys need this green one lastly for dresses I had to get a white summer dress I believe this is from their linen collection and you guys know that I am getting my wedding wardrobe ready so this is definitely a staple and just so perfect for summer. Very casual, but so girly and pretty. And the details up here look so, so cute up close. From their body contour collection, which is the same cami that I had, I got this bodysuit. It's a beautiful light blue with some cute little bows on the top but I love it. Um, I think this also comes in white. And last but not least, I had to get a clutch. I also love their shoes and clutches. Don't sleep on that. Truly, one of my favorite shoes are from Express and I get asked all the time. So I had to get an accessory and I ended up getting this beautiful clutch that I actually think will look so cute 
with this dress. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for my spring and summer fashion haul from Express. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite outfit. As always, I'm going to link everything down below and now I'm going to clean this mess. <laughs> I think I'm going to move on to cleaning and organizing my closet a little bit because while I was sick I couldn't do anything like I mentioned and I actually went away for the weekend for Easter and I didn't unpack so I'm going to do that now. As always my closet is looking like a hot mess. I honestly just need to do another serious decluttering but we're not doing that today because it's just too much. That's as good as it's gonna get, to be honest, until I actually full-blown declutter the closet. But this bag right here is this yarn I need to use for future projects. And this bag is actually something that I'm going to share with you guys really soon. Okay, so Eric just got here and I think I'm going to go and run errands by myself in the car. So, come for a ride. Oh my god, we're going to have the first car chat of many, hopefully, in my own car. This is Eric's car, by the way. I still haven't found a car. The car market right now is ridiculous. I don't know which car I should go with. I really like Eric's car. He has the Grand Cherokee, um, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Like I mentioned on a previous video, I really wanted the Jeep Wrangler, but it's just not for me. And then I considered the Tesla and... I don't know why I didn't end up going with the Tesla, to be honest with you, because the main reason was that it was going to take so long to be delivered, but it would have been delivered in May, aka next month, when I went to look for them in December, so I think the wait would have been worth it, but now the wait's probably longer, so I'm carless as of right now, um, and I just take Eric's car here and there. This is like probably my sixth time taking it by myself. The one thing I have to say though, Eric loves backing into a parking spot, upset for whenever he parks up here. So now I have to make like a U-turn to go the right way and not hit both cars. So yeah, let's pray that I actually do this correctly. Let's change the mirrors. All right, reverse. Okay, let's go back again. Please don't hit the car behind me. 
I, th I think I did it. Oh, there's a carby. I did it, you guys. I got out of the sketchy parking. I honestly wish this camera wasn't so bulky so that I could vlog, but it also looks sketchy if I vlog. Oh, damn it, it's raining. I'm going to put the camera away so that I don't crash and I'll vlog once I get to the store. All right, we made it to the first stop of our errands. I have to go and return a couple things and then I have to go to another mall to return a couple things. So face mask on. Just got home. We actually have a wedding meeting right now. Very excited. I, I was looking at the Zoom call. Starts in five minutes. We're back to vlogging. Vlogmas 2.0. No, no Vlogmas. Hello. Hola. Hi. How are you guys? Good, good. Really good. good. Eric wanted to be in the meeting. finished our meeting with the wedding planner which actually went really well um, I feel like I need to give you guys an update with wedding related stuff so I'm going to give you a quick one right now even though again I want to make the first official episode of the wedding series really soon answering some of your Q&A but some of the updates are we officially have a date a venue um, the where the ceremony is going to be. Eric is on the phone. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but yeah, we have the venue, ceremony, date, and the meeting was basically just her letting us know the breakdowns and the months, like the separate months and the to-do list and the things that need to get done for the 12 to 9 month period. Moving on to like six months, four months, basically just letting us know the things that we need to get done during those months and also the vendor list so that I can start looking at vendors and we can choose like our photographer, videographer, um, the caterer, you know, stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited. Next thing that we're going to be doing is our engagement photo shoot, which I'm really excited about because then we can send out save the dates. Another thing that I actually did, I'm sure if you guys are following me on TikTok, you know, was give my mom like asking my mom to walk me down the aisle. I actually vlogged that entire day because I went dress shopping that day and I went to like this one location, only tried four dresses. None of them was the one, but I definitely was obsessed with one of them. But I don't think it's going to be the one, so I need to still look for more and try more dresses. Lastly, this weekend, I have another wedding related Thing going on so if you guys follow me on Instagram you will see it um, I don't want to spill too much because it's going to be a totally separate video so I can share with you guys the details about it yeah I'm really happy to be back I truly miss filming and vlogging and just you guys overall um, I just want to finally find a balance where I feel not super stressed with everything else going on in my life and balancing out YouTube as well so Hopefully it all works out, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog. Don't forget to check out the description box so you guys can get all the links to my fashion haul for the spring and summer from Express. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.